All right. 6.6 and 6.7 are known for arithmetic series, arithmetic and geometric series. We're going to combine the two in this lesson. An arithmetic series formula is as follows. Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Another way you can write that formula is Sn is equal to n over 2 times and if, if you bear with me, we'll look at it as n over 2 times 2a, 2, sorry, not 2, but a plus the old tn formula for arithmetic series. So you would, this is arithmetic sequence, sorry. So the tn here is the arithmetic sequence general formula. We add an extra a value and times it by n over 2. All of these values represent um, the a formula that you need to memorize. This is the arithmetic series formula. Sn stands for the sum of the n number of terms, how much the total addition of all the terms in the particular sequence that you're looking at. n represents the term number. To the A represents T1, the first term, and D represents the common difference. All right, let's go to the next one. A geometric series formula is as follows. Sn is equal to A bracket R, N, R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1. And that's provided that the R value is not equal to 1. Sn represents the sum, and the sequence form, remember, is slightly different. Sn represents the sum of the first n number of terms. A represents the first term, T1. The Rs represent the common ratio. And the n represents the number of terms in the particular sequence that we're taking the sum of. Example number one asks you to determine the specific, sorry, the specified sum for each of the following terms. Part A, you have a particular sequence right there, and you need to find S10. To do that, we need to determine is this geometric or is this arithmetic. Very quickly, you find out that this is a geometric sequence. A value is negative 4, the R value is negative 2, and the S of 10 is equal to, well, we need this formula, this is the geometric series formula, and we plug in all the values. And we find out that S of 10, so the sum of the first 10 terms, is equal to 100, sorry, 1,364. Very important to note, if it's 10 terms, you could have technically listed all the terms, but the problem here is that it's not always going to be such a small number like 10. It could be significantly larger. Let's look at the next example. 6 plus 12 plus 18 plus 24 and so on. And you need to find the sum of the first 100 terms. Well, I'm pretty sure you're not going to write all 100 terms and try and find the sum of all of them. So you need to find out, is this an arithmetic sequence or is this geometric? Turns out that this is arithmetic. A is 6, the D value conveniently is also 6, and we need to find the sum of the first 100 terms. So we use the SN formula for arithmetic series, and we plug in the values for A, D, and N, and it turns out that the sum of the first 100 terms is 30,300. All right, on to the next one. Example number two, you're asked to determine the sum of each series. So you're given a series of numbers, and you have to find the sum of each of these series. In this case, 1 sixth plus 1 third plus 1 half plus 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 
all the way up to plus 5 thirds. This is an application type question. With this particular question, you need to find out how many terms there are before you can find the sum of the terms. And it turns out, we know that it's a common difference. We have an a value of 1 sixth, a common difference of 1 sixth, so I add 1 sixth to get each term. That means that I must have the tn formula to find the, what that last term number is, and then we can plug it into the SN formula. So the answer to this is 5 thirds is equal to 1 sixth plus n minus 1 times d. The reason why we're doing that is that's the last term value right there. So we take this 5 thirds, replace it with the TN formula. So TN, that's the value, is 5 thirds. And to find out our N value, turns out that our N value is going to be have the answer of, sorry folks, 10. So n is 10. We need to find the sum of the first 10 terms. So it's 10 over 2 is equal to 2 times the a value plus 10 minus 1 times the d value. And you find out that the sum of the first 10 terms is 55 over 6. All right, on to the next one. Example B, we have first 10, uh, sorry, a series right here where we have to add all the values and turns out our last number is 1 over 81. Well, that means there must be a common ratio. A is equal to 243, R is equal to 1 third, and you're using the TN formula to find the nth value. What is, what p position is 1 over 81? And then once we find out what position it is in, we can find the sum of that position number terms. So we plug it in, and we find out that once we find this value, that the term number, the number of terms there are, is actually 10. And it turns, so the value of n is 10. All right, this is showing how to do the logarithm. So once we find out that the n value is 10, find the sum of the first 10 terms, plug it all in, and it turns out to be that our value for this is going to be 29,524 over 81. That is the sum of the first 10 terms. All right, next one, example number three. Taken from page 158, Number 13, this particular here is the word problem, and it talks about um, something where you need to answer that question. So we're just going to look at this. Please take a moment to pause the video to copy this so we can go on to the next part. All right. Here is the part. There it is again. And we need to answer this question. Turns out our A value is 25, and there's an R value of 3 to find what the prize values are. Basically, it cannot give more than a sum of the first uh, uh, set of prizes, no more than a million dollars. So SN is equal to a million. What is the nth number? How many prizes are given out if you can only give a total? Of one million dollars. Well, here is a solution. Looking at the solution, there it is. Turns out that it can give away about ten prizes total, because that the sum of the first ten prizes will equal just about a million dollars. All right, use logarithms to solve for that. Log of 80,001 divided by log of 3, and that will give you your n value. All right, that's all, folks. Have a good night. Take care.